Easy mode. We get Druid versus <laughs> Rogue for you guys. Rickiton is awesome. I like that guy. <laughs> Just like random comment out of nowhere. Oh. Rickiton is awesome. Cenex is playing the Miracle Rogue probably or Backspace. Not sure. And well, we only got the hand cards from Rickiton for this match, so it could be as interesting as the Echop game was last week, if you remember. That was absolutely mind blowing and totally wrecking us here. Yeah, that was a long best of three. Okay, was against Alish, right? Backspace. Yeah, it was against Alish. So that's going to be backspace, obviously. He's considering to coin out the White Crows. Mm, the main problem with coining the White Crows is just your next follow up move would be Innervate Azure Drake if you really coin out the White Crows. Then you get to go through with it completely. Hmm. It's a tough one. I mean, you could coin Innervate uh, Joe and Yeti, but then your enemy's just playing South Sea Deck and Cold Blood. Easy kill. So that, that could be just instant rid of the enemy. Hmm. I think I would end the turn and go for the Wild Crows, even though it's a kind of risky play. You, you would end the turn or you would coin out the Wild Crows? I would end the turn and then go mm -hmm. for turn to Wild Growth. Because then I can decide if I go for a swipe, chill wind yeti. And then I can still, like, yeah, no, that's pretty well, much it. He goes for the white grows. I think it's definitely okay. If he top decks a harvest golem now, well, that, that would be really good. <laughs> that would be just amazing. It helps a lot. And what is Cenex putting on? I mean, two mana for backspace rogue it could be a lot. Weapon up. He could also have, like, Saucy deck and leper. If he plays with leper gnomes, they're not uh, common or every time in the backspace. I haven't mm. seen backspace in quite a while, actually. Big game, Hunter. It's pretty much a dead card in the hand of Ricky Tan. He goes for the Zudrake. He just wanted to have that mana curve, where you actually go for the Zudrake, and then you White Crows, and you go in the Two Wind Yeti, and mm. that's the way you want it to go. So, yeah, well, what turn three? Madness. He's going to play Grimscale Oracle. Do you think so? Well, if he plays Grimscale Oracle and he has a backstab, that would be okay. So he could play Grimscale Oracle, backstab the Drake, kill the Drake. Mm. Else, Saucy Deckhand. Ah, it's Deckhand. Into Ooh. Viserate. I like that one. Just get rid of the minion ASAP. You deal three damage now. Four if you attack with your blade, actually. And well, for Rickaton, the follow-up play at the moment is only a Yeti, and you're throwing big minions into Cenex, and Cenex can just do with him what he wants. Well, so far he was able to do what he wanted. Mm. Three cards left. And the mean, swipe is not really valuable right now. Kind of have to keep it. Well, as soon as you get the shield broken from the squire, it will be amazing. So be happy to have it, then not have it. Okay, what? that's for me just a yeti at the moment. Yeah. He, he could also hero power up to kill or to break the shield, prepare everything for the swipe. Before you do that, yeti. Since your turn five play, what's your turn five play? Big game hunter hero ability or swipe at the moment? I think I would prefer the hero ability for game hunter play. Oh, it's tricky to go for that. I mean, there all depends what scenic strolls on the board, obviously. Absolutely. Turn four for backspace rogue. So the possibility goes in the wide range of Grimscale Oracle into Cope Lots. We could see Arcane Golems already flying, but against the Druid, you will you don't want to play your Arcane Golems early on. No, definitely not. The annoying thing is for Cenex if he's holding the two Shadow Steps. So they are extremely not valuable now. And that could actually be the fact. I mean, it happens quite often that you have one Shadow Step early on in your hand. If you have two Shadow Steps early on in your hand, you are more screwed than it is useful for you. Well, both players are taking their time with the turns. 90 seconds seems really long sometimes. Deadly Poison? Would you trade or face? I would trade. I decide. Well, well, it's, it's kind of rough, but I would still trade. I think I would have liked phase mode more, but not entirely sure by this. Rass. And now big game hunter hero ability, I want to say. 
I'm a bit surprised he goes with the card draw, Raz. I mean, he got a turn six follow-up play. He didn't need to go for it. And the big game hunter, yes, it's okay if you have something cold-blooded. But mostly the small minions are getting cold-blooded or the chargers. Uh, mostly Argent Squire or, as you said, a deck end. So that wouldn't go up to, to seven, seven attack. Like, I didn't really like that one. Well, it's okay. I mean, the big game hunter would die to the blade or to an SI7 agent if there are actually but SI7 you, agents. But you deny him damage that your face takes, and you also deal four damage if Absolutely. he actually attacks itself. I'm not a fan of that move either. I would have definitely kept uh, my second rest there. You, I mean, you could know you're going to draw another one. Arcane Golem is so good for you now. You're just getting more and more mana. And he has a swipe. That's super valuable. Mm. Oh, you could swipe Harvest Golem if he wants to. But also Force of Nature. But I think swipe Harvest Golem is better. I'm not entirely sure. If you Force of Nature, you don't take any additional damage. Yep. If you swipe Harvest Golem, you're going to take two additional damage. If you swipe Hero Power, you're going to take one additional damage. But that's like you taking additional damage. So Force of Nature might be the smartest one here if you want to stay super safe. I mean, two hand cards for your enemy. Seriously. Yeah, actually, actually, Force of Nature is the best play. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, you can also Raz for one and swipe. Absolutely an option. There's actually an upside from that move since you're getting one card. One card al always amazing if that's an Ancient of Lore. Mm. Kapow, heal yourself up. Don't care for the card draw. The Force of Nature. I mean, there's no reason to keep the Force of Nature. Yes, you get Force of Nature Roar, <coughs> but rather stay alive in this case than try to win the game. I mean, at some point, Cinex will run out of cards and you will get the, the board control. <laughs> you mean next turn? <laughs> when he plays his two well, last two well, cards? Likely. <laughs> yeah, it totally agree with you there. And probably one card is a Shadow Step. Oh, there's a Roar. So in the end, great, he kept that card. He kept the Force of Nature. He could go for Big Game Hunter Harvest next turn, Hero Ability up, and then for turn 9, go for the Savage Roar, Force of Nature, GG win play. Yeah, now we need to deal with those two. Argent Commander. That's why I would have liked the other plays way, way more in the end, since you would have had still your one Wrath if you Big Game Hunter uh, later those turns. What are you going to do now? You need to Argent Commander down the SI7 agent. If you're money hunter person, sure. Uh, safe. If you go for a big game hunter, Harvest Golem. Um, it won't be enough. I think you definitely need to get rid of the Argent Commander. Take uh, three damage. It's also good to kill the Leopard Gnome. Uh, I mean, if he has no charges, you just kill the minion he can cope blood. This is like, if this is Leroy Shadow Stab, it's over. Yep, absolutely. And he knows that one. It's over next turn also. If there's Lira shows that weapon type. Cold Light Oracle is so good for CNEGS now. Okay, getting two more cards. He needs an Agent of Law. Like really desperately. Mark of the Wild. Or Mark of the Wild. Defend of Argus if there's one in. Scenarios. Yeah, Anything there's a Defend of Argus. Like, I doubt it. Anything that taunts up. If he has a Shadow Step, CNEGS should use it. To just draw more cards, get more chargers, uh, amazing, wider, harder, stronger, better, whatever. Like no dead card. No taunter for Rikitan so far. That hurts. You gave him a lot of options in his hands, but... Not so great. What is there in Cenex hand? I mean, oh. seriously. He drew four cards now. There there should be something cool. Most likely something like a loot order. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about something good. And you're uh, like, yeah, he's getting only I think he shape. probably has an arcane golem one shadow step. Oh, that wouldn't be enough at all. That's sad. Deckhand. So three more damage brings him down to nine. Or he's actually going to charge down the Argent Commander, but that's a second deckhand gone. So two deckhands gone, one Arcane Golem. There is only one Arcane Golem and one, one Lyra left. One Shadow Step. But there are still the Cold Bloods. Two charges left. Yeah, but no, no minion is going to survive, and that's a problem with Cold Bloods. You might have your almighty, super great Cold Bloods, but if you ain't able to use them, tough luck for you. I would go for Harvest, uh, for, for the... 
Keeper and Harvest Golem armor up. Yep. I thought about the Yeti, but I think Harvest Golem and then use your hero ability is way better. Bring him down to 24, and if you have Force of Nature Roar, that's 18, 20. That's only 22. Should have played the big game, Hunter. No, never mind. He couldn't. Oh, he could have instead of the Harvest Golem. Uh, yeah, exactly. I was reading what am I even taking. Then yeah. he had 24 damage. Yeah. If both survive. So I was calculating correctly. So the big game hunter would have made more sense if you really want to go for the burst next turn. I mean, why not? Yeah, I mean, you saw one SI7 agent. He needs the second SI7 agent to kill your minion right off the spot. You you basically give him one more round to kill you. What is it there in Scenic Sense? What cards? If he had lethal, he would have done it already. Well, he's just really slow counting. No one knows of that at the moment. Well, if you have Leroy, Shadow Step Leroy... I think it doesn't take too much. Of to imagination, what yeah. will happen. <laughs> totally agree with you there. We got Cenex with 8 mana, 4 cards in his hand. He recently drew 4 new cards with his Cold Light Oracle. Yeah, and it's looking great for Cenex if he has his chargers. And as we know, there are only. But oh, there's the King of Bananas. And the SI7 agent. Okay, Banana King ain't that useful. Is he one damage short with a banana? That Force of Nature Roar, it's 14. Plus, plus 4, plus it's 4. one damage short. Yep. Plus a banana. <laughs> That's oh, so annoying. Oh, now it's more. Yeah, but he can clear the board, though. He can just... Oh, that was a misplay from Cinex. And that was that was an uh, innervate he would have won with. <laughs> yep. So both players, uh, that was really bad from Cinex. He should have sapped the. Wow. If that loses him the game, it would be so sad. He could have just sapped the keeper of the grove, and everything would be okay. But he triggered the death rattle from the harvest golem. Would you go for Zudrake swipe trade in? Zurich swipe trade in banana. Mm. What else do you want to play? I mean, you cannot win. We know you're one damage short. You got a force of nature roar. That's I was thinking about okay. uh, bananaing the Mukla and then big game on him away. Double banana the Mukla, but for that I like the Zurich play better. I mean, you get you get uh, the Zurich out, another big minion. You get a banana up on your minion, so more damage and force of nature roar just demolish the board completely and you clear his board easy mode you can also just swipe trade left trade right clear the board so that makes no difference and like this he actually uses his hero ability so it's a bit better for him and definitely drop the yeti he had a power down to 22 force of nature roar 20. Uh, no, it's not. if the keeper survives yep. How about that? Kind of unlikely. Okay, see next. Two hand cards. Nine HP against... Uh, Ten HP against you. What do you have? Assassin's Play. Well, that's the least optimum card in this case. <laughs> Bring him down to seven. But that's Force of Nature Roar plus Bananas. At least one banana. Win the game. Even a Taunter. So it didn't make a difference. If he didn't have the kill now he would have had a taunter and as we know there are only two saps one sap already gone so one sap left this is going to be the 104 ricky tom over yep. cnex wizard druid even bananaing up for the end <laughs> feed that tree with bananas make it a banana tree ricky tom looked so bored when he just won just like man gonna man you broke my cool army stories of the first eight yeah, thing there, there, there will be times Th there where, will you be can, times. where you can tell us about those stories uh, they were so good definitely so we got again his druid versus the enemy druid now so we got yeah, switch to druid mm, ramp versus well could be token but if you face ramp we saw a lot of uh really tanky normal ramp druids coming up again during the last weeks it was more token so let's see
I think since the next Ramos cards, we haven't had, we don't have them now yeah. here in those matches. We see more and more token, 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 token because of the Hunter Creeper and the accent stuff. Uh, right now, pre-patch, there's actually the Ram Druid or the complete taunty Ram Druid. So we got the rushy Ram Druid with Argent Commanders and stuff, or the complete taunty Ram with Engine of War, Sunwalker, yeah. stuff like that. I don't know which version I like more in a Druid Mirror. Definitely the one that has Ragnaros. I mean, if you have Ragnaros, the deck can turn a whole game. You got one Taunter, Ragnaros, Kapow kills a minion. Great advantage for Cenex already. Black Rose. Rose. Oh, okay. Counter advantage for <laughs> Ricky Tan, <laughs> evening it up with his own White Rose. And he has an Innovate, so that could be. Turn six, Ragnaros. Early Ragnaros. I think it's always risky, especially with the big game hunter. That could hurt a lot. But I mean, what but are but his like options? Tur turn six, when there are not that many cards drawn could actually consider playing it. I mean, what else does he want to do now? I mean, his only play is... Swipe. Or Ras, or, or Ras, or, or Swipe. Or Ras hero ability. No, or Ras hero ability. I, I think, think he wants to Kartra. He needs to He needs to want to Kartra. Well, he just got a Cairn. Yeah, still. That's only Cairn, and then the follow-up is broken again. Uh -huh. It would have been okay, absolutely, to only one Ras hero ability. I think I would have kept one Ras. You want a Cairn definitely next turn. Turn five play for Cenex. I dearly hope he has one. Druid of the Claw. With charge. Are you going to play your Cairn into a charge Druid of the Claw, or are you going to get rid of it first? Uh, that hurts. You gonna, is, you could have gone for a Zudrake, Innervate, Rass. Uh, Rass, yeah. Well, that would be a slight waste of the Innervate, but still a possibility to get rid of the minion. Ricky Tan reminds me of the Yu-Gi-Oh character, the insect one. I know that you would bring we, that up. We will, we will unknow it. I was actually googling it. Yeah, I, I I know. You took your break time to be yep. innovative. And and uh, of the Pokemon, like the insect Pokemon, Skies, or what it's called. I don't have a clue about I, it. It was English always Pokemon one of names. my most favorite Pokemon, so. Uh, we got Innovate Ragnaros. It's absolutely a play here. Now Innovate Ragnaros. He hits the minion, hopefully. If that doesn't hit, that's super annoying for Rickitan. Great. That was just super great. So he hits it there, and whoa, let's see. What Cynic's answer is, big game hunter or not? Mm, yeah, that was what I was thinking about. Like, it's very, well, it's not very unlikely, but chances are good that he didn't draw into his big game hunter yet. I definitely know what you mean. There could be the big game hunter, but there are only, well, seven cards in his hand. He played by now three cards, so 20 cards from a big game hunter away, maybe. Yep. Could be hiding in the last spot if he's even playing one. So we know there were a lot of Miracle, 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 Zulog, Zulog, Zulog. And therefore you're like, yeah, even the Druids are not playing Ragnaros exactly. anymore. I don't play a big game hunter. I use that spot for something cool. Yeah, and how is Scenic's going to counter? Like, it's not really easy for him. Well, if he has a Harvest Golem, I would consider Harvest Golem as good to s play it now. Mm -hmm. And then Swipe Brass, something like that. Yep. Every other minion just has a 50-50 chance to get killed. And if it's a... Argent Commander, charge in. I like that one. If you have a swipe, that's that's a great move. Oh, double innovate? Press? <laughs> oh, innervate, double innovate, innervate swipe? Oh, that hurts using your innervates like this, but I think... I, it think, it, I think it's totally fine uh, for Rikitan that he played. Uh, th like, he got so much value out of this Ragnaros. Okay, Moonfire's away. I'm not sure if that Moonfire is so deceiving, but you only get a 2-4 minion out. So maybe just drop your Cairn and be happy, trade next turn. I mean, he won't run his minion in. He yep. will go for the phase, and then you can still play it. Losing those 4 HP isn't that hard, harsh. Let's see. Can Cynix come back? Well, he's not too far behind. Nah, it's looking okay, okay for both. I mean, Druid of the Claw, charge up. Both Druids of the Claw gone. Oh, is he trading? That's a big question. Trading would be okay. For two mana. Do you expect a Chillwind Yeti swipe? Chillwind Yeti swipe. Hmm. You I think that is the best play. You definitely don't want to leave the minion alive. I mean, you play Yeti and he just gets four, free four damage on your Yeti. Uh, oh. You could also go for a Zudrake. I would go I for think a Karen Karen swipe. swipe. Yeah. Yep. Sounds way better. Or. Karen yeah, it is also Chillwind Yeti. The thing is. If Cynix has a second swipe, he can deal a lot of damage. 
Yeah, sure. He like could. he could actually with a keeper and a swipe, he could clear the board entirely. Yep, that would be super great for Cnex in the end. Four hand cards left, and he didn't have the big game hunter, so I'm not counting <laughs> with the play again. He couldn't clear the board actually. Oh, he could. Uh, no, he's two mana short of clearing the board. Oh. But it would be Cairn with one HP silenced, so I think we could consider it as a board clear. Let's see how is this going. We got the Yeti. Eight mana for Cnex. Is he having his own Ragnaros? Like, he could just go Ragnaros, scream YOLO. Yeah, but that is kind of risky. I mean, the Ragnaros from Rickiton could have backfired hard too. I mean, it, if that it, didn't hit. It's going to get wrecked either way next turn because he won't be able to clear the both min both minions and their swipe on the hand of Rickiton. Absolutely. What we're going to see from Cnex doesn't seem to have great stuff. I mean, there could be Ancient of Lore, which would be okay in this situation, I have to say. Ancient Lord of Lore. swipe. Kapow. Sure, that's going to happen, but you cannot know that. So he has a Rask. Cards are a Rask, probably. Trade in his minion. Hope he gets his own Cairn. That would be perfect. Get your own Cairn now. Another Argent Commander. So Cnex is playing the not so taunty oh, version. Not. Oh my god. This is game. <laughs> this is game because of the Azur Drake <laughs> <laughs> heavy swipe. You don't even want to see what happens. No, no scenarios. <laughs> Ragnaros in the edge. You're like, doesn't matter. This is game. It's Ragnaros over. with big game under is yeah. just gone. Rikitan has great answers, and the board from Cnex got completely wrecked just a second ago. That was really nice oh for Oh my Rikitan. god. I mean, it wasn't wrong from Cnex to do what he did there. Uh, no, it was. Uh, he took the risk, paid for it. Um, I wouldn't blame him. Like I mean, two, it, was, two it, was, cards it, was, it was totally okay to go for that play, but he just got wrecked. Uh, two cards left for your enemy, and he those two cards... He just got ricked. Uh, damn it, Kai. <laughs> why, why does this have to happen all day long with you? I don't know. I want a new co-caster. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, I know you played some Hearthstone lately. That should work uh, out. I was playing against bots. It can only get worse. <laughs> or, or better, I don't know. <laughs> so what do we have here for Rikitan? He could swipe away the minion and mark of the wild his minion up. But I wouldn't even mark of the wild my minion up. Uh, that's too risky if there is a black knight. There's a force three. Karen just rolling on the board. Yep. But I was still saying that game ain't over at all. I mean, he just plays his own Karen and everything is fine. He plays a Ragnaros and believes everything is fine, gets wrecked. Chill win Yeti. Definitely good minion there. And a harvest goal. That's some good value. Probably Mark of the Wild up your care now to kill the Yeti. Oh, Force of Nature. Well, that's 12 damage. That's 13 damage. Yeah, that ain't enough to win. But maybe go for it. I mean, you could deal 6. Hmm. The problem about this is, okay, you go for the rushy play. Or even if your enemy gets a force of nature roar, he cannot win since he needs to clear your yeah. I would I would actually go for the face, as yeah. you said. Just just risk it. I mean you got a six five cairn. Even if there's a black knight, he would need to run in uh the rest of his two minions and you just need to get a druid out of the claw and you finish the game. Definitely we're gonna see the trade from Cnex. Two hand cards left for him. Hmm. Probably a roar or so. Like yeah, in most his likely end. a roar. Would you trade with your harvest golem or with your hero? Take six damage <laughs> now. <laughs> I, he would. I would trade with the harvest golem. And that's way too risky. So the I problem is you need to get rid of the board. And you also sort of need to play a torn or hero ability up to be safe. At least. I think an Alexstrasza would be helpful. Or, no, actually, if there's one legendary being helpful now for Cnex, Izera, that would be great. Just put that 412 monster out. It's proof from the big game hunter. It gives you cool cards. Yeah, well, you would die next turn. You would die next turn. He would survive with 1 HP. And that's only 13 damage. Uh. No regrets. GG. <laughs> Easy mode. Well, what would you play then? <coughs> I, okay, like, like wow. what dream card would you want? He takes the six damage. Holy I don't God. like that one at all. Trades it away. That's good. 
That's a must, but I would have drawn a card with that Raz. So you see, he didn't use his last card, yep. and I would have drawn a card with that Raz. Raza then killed the Karen completely to go towards, like, yeah, I would have drawn a card, and maybe you get an Angel of Lore, and you can drop that Angel of Lore additionally and heal yourself up. It's a big game, Hunter. Yeah, okay. that should be the GG. Rikitan winning the whole thing 2-0. That gonna be well, the if, if he wins. Most likely he's gonna win though. Nah, I, I don't <laughs> see like with two hand cards, you know, holding that. If, if it's a roar, he can kill the big game hunter. Congratulations, you earned the prize. Yeah. And still lose the game. What can Cnex do there? I would die to see his hand cards now and see that there are no options for him. Like, what, what could bring him back? You could bring him back. Or well, if he had. Exactly. He had Hogger. Hogger would be great. And Hogger would still not win him the game. A force of nature. If Hogger and Mark of the Wild. If he if he has if he had a healing touch, and that he could would have be, actually survived. That would be extremely helpful. But now he's exactly at six HP and he's gonna lose the game. Even an Angel of Lore for Rickiton. So that was like, yeah, screw you completely. Easy mode here. GG. Concede from Cinex. 2 0 for Rikitan. So it's 1 1 between the Suba <laughs> and Planet Key. GG. <laughs> what, what is your problem?